Hi everybody, Mary Cavalier here. Here is the video I promised you regarding talks with DK. However, this is not really a video as much as it is an audio. And it is a recording that was made in 2001, right after the uh, war in Afghanistan started. And it will give you a chance to hear how he spoke to us and the kinds of things he talked to us about. And if you can't understand him, please note that in the comments, and I won't use this route going forward because there are, I believe, two more lessons uh, like this one that I have recorded. And I'll add some visual just so you're not staring at a blank screen. Okay? Bye for now. Welcome to Lesson 1 of the Harma's monthly tape series, titled Walking into War, Moving Through Fear, recorded October 12, 2001. me to come and talk about uh, the war and that's what I want to speak to you about because this war was expected. First I want to tell you long time ago in your understanding of time I asked many people to teach the seven pillar of truth. It would have avoided so much trouble but man he liked to complicate things. So he do, he complicate everything. But now we got the problem. And I want you to understand it is a problem. It's not going to be easy. Man has created in his life. For every man that love without condition, 10,000 do not. And to make the, uh, this war shorter, man have to love. And he is filled at this time with great hatred. Hatred for unknown beings and faces he's never seen. It's difficult to change that. You see the war and you see that it's coming on, but you also have the unity. And man say, my goodness, this wondrous unity. But much of that unity is in hatred. It's not in love. And that your country is united in dislike, disharmony and hatred. What can you do about it? Continue your path. And I really hope that they will learn the seven pillars in order to bring harmony to this earth plane. But it's very difficult for them. Got it. Now, very important is for you to understand the big bombs are falling. They are... Uh, um, dismembering people, they are harming uh, uh, an entire land, and yet, karmically, is correct. You must understand this. It is correct. It is incorrect to uh, hate people. The proper way is to accept your karma and move with it, not to hate. Hate bring more bombs, more discomfort, more anger. We're going
going to try to make it uncomplicated. But first, you must realize what you are to expect and what you should expect, what you can expect at this time. The decisions have already been made to be rid of you all, to annihilate you all, all of you. I tell you how they're going to go about doing it. First you had the silver bird, the aeroplane, I think you have another name, jet. Then you have a train, a train. Then you have bus. Then you have uh, anything that moves. Stay away from what you term mass transit. It is your choice. But I'm offering you suggestion. Stay away from large building. It's not that they're going to crash silver bird plane jet into it. But there will be bombs in the underpinnings. They're not going to stop. They are seeing that this is, is a problem. It is. It is. It is connected. Not connected to terrorists right now. Connected to people who want to copy terrorists. It's the hatred within your country, one man to another, that is creating people who want to be, be get away with it. Be get away with it. They're copying, killing and getting away because they are doing it in the name of terrorists. This is not to say that the terrorists are not there. They are, but they like to make a bigger story. No, a little bit to a time. Uh, this anthrax is not going to stop there. It's not going to stop. And you're going to have to be cautious. It is your leader say, be alert. That is what you must do, be alert. Not so much for terrorists as for your fellow man. When man does not learn seven pillars of truth, he get crazy, crazy. Uh, um, he very angry anyway. Now he angry over the buildings coming down. He angry over the big building. And he may be angry at his spouse angry at his labor but he can do things now and have a blame on someone else this does not mean and i'm going to say that again that you are not going to be terrorized because that would be a falsehood you will be they are coming if they have to take you one to a time One at a time, they will come after you. And they're not going to stop until you learn how to turn the energy around. There are going to be those who hear this, going to say, I heard this before, I heard this before. Yes, but did you listen? Or did it have to come to this to make you listen? I don't like to tell anybody what to do because they have choice but and I'm not telling you this is what I want but I'm telling you this is what the choices that have been made by other countries against you now and they are going to be devastating for a bit of time things that you are used to you're going to have to get unused to it you're going to have to put away water because a few days at a time you're not going to have any. You're going to have to put away food. 
not great a deal of food for a year or an or in your time, but enough to last you if you have no um, energy, electricity. Remember that. In preparation for what is occurring. Now I used to tell you, you don't have to do that, correct? At that time you did not. But the first bomb exploded. And so did all of past concept. The first time man took it upon himself to murder many people in the new city, which I must say I warned you about. This is the result. And uh, what happened with time passed, time passed, time passed, and when the time got out of the way, uh, too much time passed before something happened. Make way for preparation. What is occurring is you call terrorists laugh, laugh, laugh. Because everybody running around afraid of what they are doing with chemical and uh, disease, which they are not doing yet. This does not mean that they will not. And this means that in what is good, the masters have been trying to, what do you call it, football, run interference. And what is occurring is your country is prepared and having more time, your favorite, to gather together all that they need to combat this. Got it? It's very important that man stand silently and strong and that he uh, challenge hatred. You can dislike, you can even hate and act, but never, never do you hate a human being. That human being is perfect, though the awareness may not be there. And you know not the karma of the being, therefore you cannot judge. It's important the hatred go away. Dislike the action. Dislike all, uh, all of the activities. Never, never dislike a being who is a part of you. It's very difficult to love without condition when you see a great deal going on. But you love without condition and that means if this man were to kill you, you still love without condition. You must stand there. It does not mean you don't fight back. Because that's being self-empowered. It means you don't sit in your abode in hatred. That's energy. It's too big of an energy. It must stop. The mass karma that I spoke to uh, many about is this country created that with its hatred of its own. The white man disliked the black man. The black man disliked the white man. The white man disliked the, the Spanish man. Dislike, dislike, dislike. This no good. This where hatred in your own country come from. Now you have your own country harassing and hurting people that have nothing to do with what has occurred. America, in all of its goodness and all of its honor, sees murder as an answer. It is not. Karmically, all is as it should be. This is not saying your country doing anything wrong. This is not wrong. This is karmically sufficient. However, do not sit in your abodes holding hatred in your heart because you're sending that energy 
your very spiritual beings who have very powerful energy. You're not living in ignorance. If you're not living in ignorance, you cannot hate. Because when you put that vibration there, it's 50 times as strong as someone who is unaware. It's more powerful. I have discussed with the other masters how uh, sad it is to hear people say, I am on a spiritual path and I hate Osama bin Laden. Those two things will not go together. You can say, I am on a spiritual path and I dislike what has been done. But judgment is something you cannot do. Judge for yourself that you will not be in places that can be hazardous. That you will watch. And if others are doing something that you will uh, make the necessary uh, arrangement to fix it. But do not judge. It will come back at you many times. The more spiritually aware that you are, the more you are responsible for. As I say these words, I think I wish others had listened to this. I said a long time ago in your understanding ago, if the energy is put into proper position, you're going to have World War Three. That's what you have. And World War Three is built on hatred. What is coming of this is the unity of man will see that the hatred does not bring him anywhere. But we've got to get through the difficulties first. And those difficulties are going to be long. And they're going to be di you're going to be diligent in working toward a space of peace. And every time you think you've come to a place of peace, a new war will begin until all can live in harmony. I had hoped that my coming in this way would have avoided that. Unfortunate as it is, it has not. There are so many who say, I understand, I understand. I am on my spiritual path. I am doing what is necessary. And at the same time, what has occurred? That's not done. You love the individuals, all individuals, you may not understand what the path is, but you do not walk their karma. So you do not judge them. Judging them is an incorrect. Remember that all people birthed in another land chose to be birthed in that land for a reason. And every time you interfere, you create karma. This does not mean a, that you can butt in. <laughs> Master butt in. I butt in many times. But I butt in knowing what the effect will be. What the outcome will be. Man doesn't know what the outcome will be. Your country is not doing wrong. If you understand that, love and allow, and that means your country as well. Don't judge your country. It is bringing peace and harmony into this world. Though it's going about it, as all of mankind always have, in a complicated way. Man never does things on the straight path. Did you ever notice that he got to go around the block many times? to get to the center. Everything have to start 
feeling and looking familiar till he get to that place and he can then understand. Be strong, stand tall, be aware, and don't turn your back on your brother. This does not mean that if a man bring a weapon out, you stand there and say, all right, do away with me. No. You be self-empowered. That's the balance I have been looking for throughout my dissertation. Balance. You love yourself. Someone wants to do you harm, you have to stand up to them. But you also, like the Native Americans, if you kill the buffalo, you bless it. You don't do it with hatred. Hatred creates and breeds more hatred. The question has been asked, why do other countries hate United States? Why? Why do you think they hate the United States? United States bought into everybody's business. Doesn't know how to mind its own business. Can't even take care of its own land. I have been in a very good position to be able to see what is going on everywhere. And what I see is you have people starving. People in your own country that have no abode. And you go to another country and feed them. You know why you're feeding them. To look, uh, have everybody look upon you that you are wondrous. You know what they think? You have many faces. But if you were helping people in your own land, you would have more power, wouldn't you? Because you'd have more healthy people. Government doesn't see that. Through the ages there have been emirs. There have been queens and kings and emperors. What they want? Power. And now United States faced with uh, a lack of power. Love your country. Love your brother. It matters not what land he's in. And love each other. Watch every word that you say. And what you think. And believe. Bless the being and the path he's on. I guess that would be your first lesson. What do you think? Blessed be you. Namaste.